I am Mama Masi, also known as Elizabeth Wanjiko. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is my Lord and Savior, to Kutendereza Yesu. I'm a servant of God since 1990, called as a prophet. Our Lord has not kept quiet on me since the last time I sent a message through the YouTube before the elections. But it is now he has cautioned I said this urgent spiritual alert. I've been sharing through WhatsApp since last week, Monday 22nd, so the message is already going round. I'm normally sent to marketplaces, towns, in fellowships, individuals, churches, government offices, etc. So it happened on Monday 22nd, May. I was sent to Nairobi bus station to give out the following scriptures for reference as to what is going on in the country, calling for repentance and turning to our God. He hates evil. Issues like family planning, they were worshipping immorality, gone to extremes, dressing code, hatred, rebellion against his word. Refer to highlights on YouTube from the book I was given to write prophetic revelations to guide revival movement from Africa to other nations. Going back a bit, after the last general elections, I was given Hosea 4, titled God's Charge Against Israel. So the scriptures for reference which I was give, sharing were Isaiah 20 which I consider very delicate, as I have shared before, Israelites being put to a shame. I was shown the vision of Batoks, as quoted in verse 4. Then Hosea 9, Jeremiah 16, verse 1 to 13, Revelation 12, verse 17, and Revelation 6, verse 7 and 8, the pale horse. Psalms 115, verse 3 to 8, need be careful about idol worship. This was not all. I was, as I was walking, going back to the railways, I heard a heavy voice which clearly indicated the devil is dust, dusty, craving for blood. My first time to ever get such a message. I thank God for letting us know so that we can take our position. A wake-up call to intercessors to take your position, declaring no bloodshed, use your key, spiritual key well. Close all entry points, rebuking the murdering demons and cover our country with the precious blood of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit take over and guide you on how to pray for the sake of the country. Use Isaiah 58, the acceptable fast, as we pray also. Connect yourselves with the poor who we are revealed will be considered, uh, considered as our shield. So share with the poor. Do not let them go hungry. Go on pleading for God's mercies. On 29th May 2023 also, through a clear daylight vision, as we were praying for the nation, I was shown an image just as I was shown to Nebuchadnezzar. Read Daniel 2 verse 31 to 45, which is very clear. God intends to crush all other kingdoms for his kingdom to stand forever. Ezekiel 12 verse 28 tells us none of God's words will be postponed. We need to watch out and pray. Be blessed as you take charge for the sake of our country. If you need to contact me, my telephone number is 0722-4542-24 or 0739-33-4863.
have a blessed day. Tukutendereza Yesu.